one of the other facts is that you have the early creeds That's right. that yeah. came out mm -hmm. that were written so close to the events. You know, Paul says, that which I received, the set of beliefs, I passed on to you. Paul got saved probably within 24 months of the time that Jesus was crucified, okay? And he was persecuting Christians, and the risen Jesus appeared to him, and I want you to tell the story in a moment, but the fact is the information that he passed on, all right, he records in 1 Corinthians 15, and the scholars look at this and say this is early information that was put into print at 55 A.D. in his book to 1 Corinthians. It was preached to them in 50 A.D. when he actually went to Corinth and preached to them, but he says he got that information way back when he got saved, which was two years from the time that Jesus passed off the scene, or when he met with Peter and James, which was three years later, within five years. If it's five or two, it doesn't make any difference. That is so short a period of time, the scholars say, this is credible historical information from one of the greatest scholars that lived at that period who was right on the scene and claimed to be an eyewitness and knew the other eyewitnesses. Yeah. It also knocks the ground out from another op uh, objection that people say or explanation, there was a legend. There simply wasn't enough time for the legends to develop. All these creedal statements came in so quickly. There were eyewitnesses who could have been checked up on, and legends don't develop under those circumstances. Right. Yeah. And scholars say it takes two generations for legend to develop. Right. And this all happened within one generation.